going. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Steve Zebarth. I'm here oh. at the front porch. The damn cuckoo clock. Okay, uh, just put you there's like a. Hold two, on. Uh, let's let's start. Over. Yeah. Two. We're on the front porch at Timbuktu Studios on the front porch with Herman Cox showing us what we can do with better health technologies and a lot of their different products they've got. Herman, let's see what you've got here for one of your ideas you come up with. All right, today, Steve, we're going to show you how to seed a hydrophonic float tray. This is a 72 cell hydrophonic float tray. It's used uh, for big commercial operations. You can use it for small operations also. They grow vegetables and stuff in those too, right? Vegetables or uh, tobacco, several different aspects of growing. This is a 72 cell. This is an 18 cell right here. It's only 18 sections to this cube. We also have 242 cell available for growing herbs and spices. Now the 242 is the same size as this? Same size, holes. same height, just smaller holes, 242 cells. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start out and we put a little coconut husk down in the hole. Then we take a little perlite. Now this is agricultural perlite. You can soak this, pre-soak it. I'd recommend that you actually add some of our nutrients here and that you can get it better health technologies for hydrophonics. And what you do is you pre-soak this perlite with those nutrients and then they're pre-fertilized. So what you do is you take a little perlite, you put it into the hole about three quarters of the way up into the cell. The next process would be to go in and take a little agricultural vermiculite, cover that up, leaving it within a quarter inch of the top of the cell. At that point, it's very simple. What you do, if you're wanting to grow a bed of lettuce on this tray, this is a standard pepper shaker that you can buy anywhere. And what it has in this is 19 varieties of seeds. So you sprinkle the seeds all the way on top of the cell in the tree, coating it very well, getting several of them in every cell. Now those are 19 varieties of lettuce in that That's right. That's right. This is a baby leaf type lettuce. The next step is to take some more vermiculite, coating over the top of about an eighth of an inch thick or to the top of the cell. At that point, this tray is ready to put into the water. And then when you take it from that step, you would actually go to the next stage in the process, and this turns into, into that. Right. Now what period of time is that? This is a 72 cell tray. This is one week growth right here. Now, I'm going to give you an alternative to, to the sprinkling with the pepper shaker also. This is an actual plant, 72 plants in one tray. This process is done by using a pelletized seed, and a pelletized seed it resembles a marble. It's a little white marble with clay on it. The seed is inside. It's already pre-germinated uh, for you. You put one seed in every section the same way we did in the, in the previous process, covering it back over the miculite, put it in the water, and in two to three days, you should see germination with small leaf growth at that point. But here this, we've got a week. This is a week's worth of growth right here. Now, at this point, after this week period, these plants could also be transplanted over to a hydrophonic system to where they use uh, big sheets of polystyrene foam, four bay sheets. And I've got a small section here. You would transplant the plant over to here wrapping a little coconut husk around it to keep ventilation to the root system, sticking it into the float system that you have, and you're off and ready to go. Uh, a lot of people use uh, a rock wool type of a cube, and the plant can be transplanted over, or you can take the pelletized seed and start in the rock wool cube and put it in your float system. Also, you could pull these plants individually after I would say a week or two weeks, transplanting them over to pots if you wanted to start with a, a green organic type of a starter plant, knowing that all of these plants are hydrophonically started so they're beyond what you would call a standard organic plant. A lot safer, no fertilization whatsoever, all natural nutrients and ingredients. Uh, here's some here, simple, it's uh, planting in some Two liter and three there, liter. There's drink. a pot right there. That's a pot. Yes. If you want to go that route, 
If you want to go that route in your back, we're looking for a container that can hold our transplant. That's right. If you want to go that route, you do not want to go a full hydrophonic float system. Now we have some examples here of the next stage of the 72 tray, and this this is what this is the results of four weeks worth of growth with baby leaf lettuce sprinkled with pepper shakers we described. This is four weeks worth of growth right here. Four weeks. That that's a lettuce. That's a salad. <laughs> right. That is, that's a beautiful right. piece. And you, you harvest that by just taking simple pair of scissors, cutting off what you want, and uh, putting it back in the water and it grows back. Yeah, it's that's clean, beautiful. safe, ready to eat, beyond organic lettuce. Now, this is an 18 tray with the same process sprinkled in. This one has already been harvested, and two weeks earlier with the harvest, it's back growing again right now with no extra effort, no extra seed. So what you did is you actually came in here and you the you, you let it grow the first time and it grew up, what, about a month? A month. A month. Four, and then four you weeks just like you saw it over here. Four weeks over here. And then what we did is we took scissors, we took that and we ate it for our, with our salad. And then we actually let it grow again so we actually have double cycling without uh, with the same plant That's using right. The, the right nutrients and using the right the system. Right nutrients and the right system. Now, in Better Health Technologies, we have uh, several nutrient systems. We have uh, the trays themselves. Uh, we have uh, ideas through Timbuktuideas.com or BetterHelpTechnologies.com. We invite you to come to our email address or our Facebook. Be a member of our Facebook. Uh, we'll simply send you any information you need about this, where to get things, how to educate you in this process, and be available for you. At Timbuktu, we're here to show ideas like this because we know a lot of people are wondering, what should I do with my, our ideas? And we want you to come out here on the front porch with us. We want you to join in with some of our sharing of ideas, sharing of, of what we can do. And today, uh, we've shown you what we can do with hydroponics and growing it right out of a flotation and the right system. Right, and we've, we've got other information and other videos coming. Uh, go on to our websites, like I said, betterhealthtechnologies.com or timbuktuideas.com. Thank you and have a nice day. Yeah.